أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم برنامج إماراتي كما عودناكم أن نستضيف لكم نخبة من رجال أعمال داخل دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة يسعدنا اليوم أن نقدم لكم قصة نجاح جديدة مع الأستاذ تشيرز Good afternoon Mr. Charles. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So I would like to know uh, who's Charles from early beginning. Chills is how I'm known in this industry, though my parents call me as Chilladurai Bhupati. As you know, it's a typical Indian name, which is always a bit difficult to be pronounced. So okay. Chills is uh, the industry known name. Mm -hmm. That's a great. So from where you are, uh, can you tell us about your journey? Okay. Um, I'm an Indian. Uh, I was born and brought up uh, in India. But India is a stepping stone for me uh, and it had led me to grow exponentially uh, with all my graduation back in India. Um, with all those experiences, uh, it was a tough journey as everyone comes through. Uh, started as an employee, worked for around 14-15 years and then I found the opportunity of being an entrepreneur and the entrepreneurship journey uh, by itself is always beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have ups and downs. But unless you become an entrepreneur, you're not going to reach greater heights. Of course. And so when you shift to, to Emirates, United Arab Emirates, how you get that chance to come and uh, of course, how, of course, you, you start uh, very beginning here. Um, I was here uh, in 2013. I reached here um, uh, to UAE in 2013 um, for the airport project in Abu Dhabi. It's a massive project and uh, we, were, we were a small team, we tried to uh, help Abu Dhabi Airport and we always feel proud of our contributions to Abu Dhabi Airport and uh, we are more than grateful uh, to what Abu Dhabi had offered us in return. Of course. Um, so uh, we started 2013 and uh, here we are in 2023, it's a 10 year long journey here Much in up. UAE and uh, it, it is continuing, it will continue forever. Of course you have enough experience uh, on the market before you start to um, create an idea and uh, you become what you are today. So let us talk about that small idea and how you uh, uh, study the market, how you see that gap you want to fill it and why you, st um, you choose the image to start to establish your own company um, from it. Aviation industry by itself is a very, very small industry as far as consulting is concerned. Mm. Aviation by itself has got numerous opportunities to numerous people mm. in various forms. Where we are in the picture is we help the airports, airlines, um, contractors to start from supply chain management all the way up to the delivery of fuel into the aircrafts. Mm -hmm. So that's our cup of tea, that's our bread and butter. So having said that, how many people are in the market? There are very, very handful of people who are expertised in this so that we help industry to a greater scale um, than anyone else we can proudly say. Mm -hmm. So having said that, this being a niche industry, what happens is everyone in the industry knew everyone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, there is no hide and seek game here. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, the world gets to know in no time. So what happens is Every client comes to us uh, with the different expectations and not everyone are the same. We support airports, we support airlines, we support fuel suppliers, we support contractors. So everyone comes with a different hat mm -hmm. and we have to change a hat accordingly so that we convince each and every client based on their demands. Mm -hmm. So it's a tough journey but uh, it is highly customizable and we are in this market helping them uh, right from supply chain all the way up to aircraft fuel delivery. That's a great. And uh, let us talk about uh, uh, your team behind. They are your, today your right hand, your um, second family also. You are spending your time more uh, with them more than in your home. So how you are selecting your team behind to give the best quality service for your clients? Okay. Um, I would say it has got a cultural uh, effect to it uh, when we are selecting the team depends on where the client is, what the client expectations are and accordingly we have to select the team so that we understand the client better rather than saying that hey we are, we are stationed at one place and this is our uh, way of service. No, we don't do that. If we have a specific client and if their expectations are so, we do have custom uh, employees working for them so that they understand their requirements better. 
so we can offer them better service than uh, you know standard services so having said that what happens is say for example um, when it comes to their experience levels not every client are looking for 20 30 years of experience but what we deliver is we always ensure that the top class service is offered being a consultant whatever we say becomes a bible for uh, the companies to execute it mm -hmm. so when we are going to draft a bible we have to be on top of it so whenever we select the team we ensure that the team is equally competent in mm -hmm. all the uh, selection criteria you know we, we don't we don't miss any stones unturned and we tick all the boxes that yes they meet all my requirements there is more than 200 different nationalities inside United Arab Emirates and there is a big challenge between these few companies here in United Arab Emirates. So how you prove yourself in the market? How you are working out of the box to stay on the same level? Okay, um, it's, it's really an interesting question. The, the thing is, um, there is a standard deliverables which being engineering consultants they always offer. What happens is it is just one another page that we flip. We don't do that. Instead, we develop our own product custom made for uh, the clients. One, one classic example is, example is COVID. When the COVID hit, all the airports were shut. So how do I uh, play with my team? I mean, I have a team stationed here in Dubai. I have a team back in India. I have a team in Europe and I have to feed them as well. So how do I feed them? I educated them. I educated them to come up with a software which helps the overall operations of airport. So what that means is, all the client need to do is, all, all the uh, interplane operator we call them as, all the interplane operator need to do is, they have to just go take a tab, follow the instructions given in the tab, and the refueling is done. It's fully automatic. Mm -hmm. So we took two and a half years to develop it right from scratch. Now we're, we have completed the proof of concept and it mm -hmm. is ready for launch. So that is the best way we can make use of pandemic situation. Who would have thought that we would be house arrested for mm -hmm. two, two and a half years? But our team had supported, trust me, uh, you know, pillar to post, they were, they were to every corner, they ensured that the project is delivered in time mm -hmm. and they have the, the complete uh, development phase was seamless. Mm -hmm. So now we have a product in hand. Now, if you see the competitors that we have in the market, as you said, the number of companies we have in UAE, do all of them have a product handy to support the client? No. So we stand out of from uh, out of the crowd, from all all means. On one end, we are the consultants who can do the service, who can deliver the service, what the client is looking for. At the same time, we do add value to them with a custom product, which makes their job much much easier. Mm -hmm. All they need to do is they have to listen to the software. Whatever the software says, do it. Here you go. There is an error-free operation uh, happening. Uh, in the airports. Of course. Let us shift to the Emirates. Uh, of course, in the United Arab Emirates, how you know that uh, each year we have a, a, a new vision from our leadership. Let us talk about today, about your uh, own uh, future plan, about your vision, where we can see you on the short term and the long term as well. Okay. Um, the reason why we chose Dubai as our base is we are strategically placed. We are right in the middle of the world. So we have the extended arms which can serve, say, India, Southeast Asia, uh, Europe, and say, US, wherever we want to do it. We are highly strategically placed. Mm -hmm. So it is a very good reach for the clients to reach out to us so that we can, you know, we, we avoid the travel time, we avoid the manpower handling stuff. Mm -hmm. So it is completely balanced. UAE is a place where it is everything is balanced. Mm -hmm. You're not an expensive uh, place. Uh, as far as the manpower is concerned, you deliver the top-notch deliverables at the same time at a cost which is highly uh, affordable for the clients. So UAE is very well placed for that. And having said that, now we are serving the Middle East market, we are serving the Southeast market, we are serving Europe. But five years down the lane, our product, uh, even stat what we call it as, we want this product to be available in every possible airport in this planet mm -hmm. and it will happen because we are making jobs easier we are making everyone to uh, you know play with it just like that it's, it's not even work you can even play with that mm -hmm. so why not so you can see uh, our products in every airport in the middle east in southeast asia and across the planet
Inshallah, good luck on that, of course, uh, Mr. Richard. After this all years from experience till you reaching the success, a successful businessman, who deserve a thanks today from your side? Who was your backbone? Who support you till you reach here? Okay. Um, there, are, there are few uh, industry experts who had grown these thoughts in me. Uh, you know, I'm always thankful to them. Uh, uh, you know, there are, there, are, there are few people whom I cannot forget. So they taught me to get into this industry on how to run the business, number one. Number two, family, you know, you, you, you can't take away from every step that we take forward. Be it my wife, be it my family, my kids, my parents, and who not, my friends too. And the friends were like a different backbone because they are the beautiful critics that you can ever have. They keep criticizing you for whatever good you do. So that's the best part where you have to fix your mistakes before they can critic make any critics on you. Again, let us talk about the Emirates. There is high safety, high security, and they are supporting everyone to reach his target, reach his goal, and uh, prove himself in the market. So today, a last message from your side. We will start it from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, and of course, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, and all the leadership of the Emirates. From my side, this is Chels. Uh, I'm the founder of uh, Avon Consultants uh, here in Dubai. Uh, I would like to uh, extend my heartiest gratefulness to uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed for all his leadership, for all his efforts to bring in this country to the level where it is now. And trust me, no one else with uh, such ability can bring this country to where it is now. Um, you know, not, not just Chels, it's the entire world is looking at Dubai and for its contribution to the world. So having said that when Dubai can contribute to the entire world, Imagine how it would have contributed to the people of this country and we are always grateful for that. Thank you and please keep blessing us for whatever efforts that you have put in. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. You was with us in Emirati TV program. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles. Thank you. Our